Hi, my name is Crystal Fletcher and welcome to All About Canadian Books and a big Happy New Year to our viewers. To kick 2022 off, I thought I'd do something a little different. So to get to know our authors a little better, on Tuesdays, I'll feature an author spotlight, which will be a series of 10 quick questions. And this will be followed up by Thursday's post, which will be a book chat. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce this week's guest, author Alan Ozeri. His brave memoir, there it is there, Even the Sidewalk Could Tell, is his story of how he came out to his wife, his three children, and the world. Alan Ozeri was born in Toronto and raised in Israel. Alan returned permanently to Canada when he was 21, earning his undergraduate degree in hospitality management from Ryerson University. Alan is the co-founder of Ozeri Bakery, which is a commercial bakery that sells natural baked goods across North America. Welcome to All About Canadian Books, Alan, and Happy New Year. Happy New Year, Crystal. It's great being here. Thank you. My pleasure. And are you ready to be my guinea pig with a series of 10 quick questions? I'm in your hands. Yes. <laughs> in your hands. Fabulous. This, okay. this is my worried look now. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no need to be worried. <laughs> okay, so number one, what is your favorite Osiri Bakery product? Well, I'm going to I, I'm not, I don't follow uh, questions very well. So uh, Morning Rounds is my favorite uh, of all times. And that's a fruit induced uh, kind of a small bun, flat bun. But these days I have, um, we started a keto friendly, gluten free uh, and allergen free products, line of products. And um, they are, uh, you can see them here uh, and, and we're go going to brand them as seed wise. So they're kind of a whole new branch to, to our bakery and um, really excited to see uh, how they will do. They're really tasty. You know, we open a bag, you finish them, I do at least. And uh, yeah, it's really exciting because conventional bakery business is so hard. Um, now, now we're kind of going with, with the trend. Oh, fantastic. Well, I look forward to trying some of those. And Alan, did you make any New Year's resolutions? I, um, yes, and I, I, I say it's for to have better connectivity. So I'm on my uh, sabbatical and I'm, I'm kind of floating. So I want to um, have better connectivity, I, I, I kind of be vague. Uh, fantastic. And what did you binge watch on Netflix over the holiday season? Uh, Yellowstone. Oh, okay. I, I couldn't watch it too late at night because it has some darkness to it, but uh, I have to watch it earlier in the day to uh, let it absorb, be absorbed. <laughs> okay. And what are you most thankful for? I'm thankful for my family very, very, very much. So I spent a lot of time with them uh, the last few weeks. Oh, lovely. And this one's a little easier. What is your favorite color? Uh, orange. Orange? Yes. <laughs> Do you miss living in Israel? Uh, no. <laughs> I, I see <laughs> Toronto, Canada are my home. Um, I love visiting. I have uh, good friends and family there, but uh, I wouldn't want to live there. Not, not any longer. <laughs> Alan, who is your hero? Oh, okay. That's a, that's a good one. My heroes change. Um, it used to be Donald Glo Glover. I really appreciated him as an artist, a uh, musician, a writer. Uh, now I'm kind of looking at Lil Nas X, who's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant artist uh, with a very powerful message and uh, very positive energy. And I like his music. So yeah, that's nice. what those are, were on my mind lately. Okay. What is your biggest fear? Um, fear of failure. And uh, yeah, 
Okay. That, that kind of drives me forward a lot. Yeah. And what are you currently reading? Uh, actually, two books by uh, two friends. One is uh, ah. they're, they're books that haven't been published yet, but a book by Eric Rosenberg, who's a friend. He, he wrote a book about anti-Semitism and his experience mm -hmm. in Belgium, which is very uh, powerful and strong. And another uh, book by Jerry Lynch, uh, self-published, uh, which is a bunch of smaller, uh, shorter stories, which is are brilliant also. So those oh, two are on, on next to my bed, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So, Alan, thank you, thank you so much. And to our viewers, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And also be sure to come back on Thursday because Alan Ozeri will be back and he will be talking about his memoir, Even the Sidewalk Could Tell. Oops, there. <laughs> I'm like, where is it? There. I'll put it in front of me. <laughs> And it's published by Regent Park Publishing. So thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Alan Ozeri. Thank you.